Good. Question I have is uh, working with uh, young kids, uh, middle school, who've yeah. never, never really uh, been on extensive uh, training program before. How do you initially get them uh, conditioned to the point where they feel comfortable going uh, to into uh, the practice? Yeah, it's a great question, and I think a big part of this, at least for me, is how you set up the training session in and of itself. Like, I don't worry about it a ton, maybe for the first two to three months. I almost use the training session and the pace that we work through the training session as. I think of that as like GPP, right? Uh huh. You're literally just trying to build a base for them. So, you know, as long as they're not taking too long in between rest, that sort of thing. If you're slowly just building, building the general physical preparedness in the, the training session itself and keeping the pace up throughout that, as long as you're covering all the bases, you're doing some speed and power work, some strength work, some conditioning work. What you tend to find is they're like a thousand percent more prepared than their peers when they show up on day one. So I don't, I don't, I don't think I do a ton of external conditioning. Um, and part of that is bias, right? Because the two sports that I work with the most are basketball and soccer. And I feel like they get a lot of conditioning just from playing their sport. You know, it's, and, and keep in mind, I don't love that. I wish I had more control over it, say, in the off season, But a lot of these kids play year-round, so they're in relatively good shape. So I just try and continue to build, like, the movement skill and the movement quality and the strength and the power development in the gym, you know. And then I think if you're keeping the, the pace of the workout up, you're going to get the conditioning that you want kind of as a byproduct of that.